ladies and gentlemen, it is South Park time. A glorious time for all of us of all ages and sizes. Uh, and you see, the beauty of South Park is it brings people together. Because it is racist against every race and sexist against every sex, South Park is something that we can all appreciate equally and together, uniting people as one. And today, we are taking a deep dive, nice, good old look back in the times of when South Park destroyed Mormons. Uh, which is something that they did at some point. So we are looking at the South Park Mormon arc. It's gonna be crazy uh, We recently looked at the uh, South Park annihilating Scientology unlike Scientology Mormonism is I guess more religion than cult <laughs> uh, I, I do actually have some experience when it comes to some uh, Mormon stuff, I've done a little tiny tad of research. So listen, listen, let me let me catch you up on some Mormon lore. It all started when somebody, and I might be wrong, that uh, an angel came to him named Mormoni or Moroni or something like that. And, uh, and gave him the golden tablets with all the rules, Book of Mormon. Uh, and unfortunately, he didn't have a translation to those golden tablets, which were written in a very, very ancient, ancient language that he did not know how to speak. So the angel also gave him a dictionary to translate those golden tablets and uh then the angel then after he translated, uh, he took back the dictionary and the tablets and he created the religion of mormon there's also magic underwear in there somewhere um i, I could be completely wrong here but we're jumping right into what south park has to say uh, if i know south park this is going to be incredibly awful let's go let's see what we got this is gonna be good all right let's go baby let's see it let's see it the south <laughs> dude i'm gonna get so canceled fuck <laughs> Okay, children, let's take our seats. We have a new student joining us today. Who oh my God, dude! Oh no! He's just moved here from Utah. I want Utah, home of the Mormons. You all to say hi to Gary. Hello, everybody. It's really great to meet you all. Wow, Gary seems like a very up, nice, nice up and coming guy. Gary was state champion in wrestling and in tennis. He also maintained a 4.0 grade point average at his old school and has been on two national commercials for toothpaste. I'm really excited to live in this town and share all kinds of great experiences with you, my new friends. Wow, he sounds, uh, God, I, God, I sure, I sure, <laughs> I sure hope they don't go the brainwashed route. Holy shit. Oh no, South Park has zero chill. This is gonna, <laughs> this is gonna be awful. Oh, dude, what a little asshole. Yeah, screw that kid. All right, Gary. Yeah, he's way too wholesome. We gotta kill him. Hey, why don't you take that empty seat and we'll get started with the lesson. Hey, my name's Gary. Hi, my name's Yura. Yura, f Ah! <laughs> God damn, editor, censor everything. Censor everything. <laughs> That's funny. You're cool, man. Okay, now who can tell me what you- Oh, God. Nothing is terrifying as someone that takes an insult well. Here, the first astronauts landed on the moon. Oh, 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 1969. Very good. Ah, 69. Gary. Wow, looks like I don't have a class full of <laughs> anymore. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> you can tell this is season seven. Doesn't it, children? Not season 26. Dude, that new kid is such a yeah, somebody needs to- Yeah, we hate how nice and wholesome he seems to be to everybody. Something must be up. Put him in his place. He's a pecker face, that's what he is. Go kick his ass, Dan. Yeah, go kick his ass. Well, maybe he won't fight. Will he bleed? That's all we care about. <laughs> True and based. Listen, we're not here for the fair fight. We're here to watch him bleed. Why? Because he's nice. Come on, dude. Somebody needs to wipe that smirk off his face. Yeah, little All right, I'm gonna go kick his ass. He's too wholesome for this town. Yeah, go Dan. Go Dan. All right, I got five bucks on the other kid. Who wants it? No. <laughs> Look oh, at hey. him, minding his own business, doing everything nice. Hey there, you want to kick the ball around with me? No, I'm... I'm going to kick your ass. Excuse me? I'm going to kick your ass. How come you want to fight me? Oh, I get it. I'm the new kid. Yeah, I guess maybe I deserve it. Oh, my God. He's taking it too well. Destroy him. Huh? It's really tough being in a totally new place, but I think all you guys are really cool, so... I understand if there's an issue. Dude, this is the worst thing in the world. <laughs> it's the worst thing in the world. No, I want to hate you. Stop. Dude, stop it. Let him have it, Stan. Shut up, Butters. The other kids are watching. Look, do what you got to do. I won't fight back. Brother. Just hope that maybe afterwards we can try to be friends someday. Dude, sometimes being wholesome is just the ultimate Uno reverse card. This is how schools tell kids to deal with bullies. True. Just be nice to them and maybe they'll stop. What are they 
doing? They're just standing there talking. Damn. What happened? I'm going over to his house for dinner tonight. What? <laughs> oh my god. He's It's all part of the plan. It is all part of the plan. Really nice kid. You were supposed to kick his ass, not lick his butt. You're having dinner Damn. with his family? What kind of family has a kid like that? Maybe a nice family? <laughs> <laughs> okay, my turn. Dude, this is crazy. Oh my god, look at this. Look at what they did. <laughs> look, when they went down this the freaking um goddamn every time they cover a different religion or different sect, they are cruel and evil this is just the mormon kindness arc they're just going full as naruto talk no jutsu on these guys Ooh, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, oh lost your mortgage pay ten thousand dollars oh no <laughs> <laughs> hey it's gary gary great to see you how are you hey everybody this is my new friend stan stan this is my mom and dad hi stan it's so nice to meet you damn and this is my brother mark Hi. My oh, hi, Mark. Sister Jenny. Hey. My little brother Dave. Hi. And my baby sister Amanda. Hello, Stan. Oh, my God. Something's a little too perfect. Something's a little bit going too smoothly. Mm -hmm. What? I wonder why this is the commentary they decided to go down for the Mormon route. Well, that's great. You could join it's us so for family home evening, Stan. What's that? That's when we don't allow any TV and just entertain each other with music and stories. Sounds like hell. Doesn't your family ever do that? No. Hey. No, our family tries their best to ignore each other. Kids, why don't you grab your instruments and play a song for Stan? <laughs> All, All right, right. let's All do right. it. Yeah, 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 I love my family. My family is oh the best. Oh, my God. If we ever have to. Dude, there's something, something desperately wrong here. They are way too happy. No one is this perfect. Face a challenge. Our, our family. family. To pass the test. Oh boy, who is the best mom in the world? Yeah, 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 right, right, right. <laughs> All right, go Dave. Yeah. It's just like this dude's just freaking going crazy. They are way too wholesome. They're too wholesome. Something's wrong. They must be cannibals or something. Where be your gibes now? Your gambles, your songs. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> That's a great story, Sarah. All right, kids. Now, how about we do some scripture readings from the yeah! Book of Mormon? And that's where it goes. All right! Ow! Ow! The Book of Mormon? What's that? You know, the book that Joseph Smith found. Who's Joseph Smith? <laughs> oh, he doesn't know. Oh, we'll teach him a thing or two. Oh, God, this is where it begins. This is where it begins. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Have we made a mistake by reacting to this episode? Probably. Will we get canceled? Most definitely. Is it worth it? Listen, I'm just here to learn, okay? <laughs> Only the most important person in the world. You never heard of him? No. Tell us the story of Joseph Smith again, Dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah tell us, tell us. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, you rascals, oh, gather God. round. Joseph Smith lived in a little American town in the early 1800s. <laughs> dee da -de dee da dum. Joseph Smith was called a prophet. <laughs> He was called a prophet. Dum, he started the Mormon religion. Dum, 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 dum. There goes that kooky Joseph Smith. You know he claims he spoke with God and Jesus. Well, how do you know he didn't? Dum. Damn, damn. Reddit eating hard on that one. Re Sorry, Reddit atheists. You guys are done. How do you know he didn't? Dum, 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 dum. Joseph Smith was called a prophet. Hey, Joseph, I told my wife that you spoke with God and Jesus, and she didn't believe it. Well, it's true. I did. Where? I was out in the woods, praying. Alone, where no one could see me. Strangely enough, most of the biggest uh, moments for prophets in history are where there were no witnesses, strangely enough. I was asking God if I should be a Protestant or a Catholic or what, and suddenly God and Jesus appeared before me. And they said I should start my own church. Because none of the others had it right. And that's exactly how it happened. You see? You believe it now? Well, yeah, sure. Why would he make that up? Fucking God, stop. Stop making them this stupid. There's no way. There's no way. Stop it. Dum, 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 dum. Okay, we get the lyrics now. Dum, 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 dum. Stop. Stop. No, please. No. No. Many people believe Joseph. Dum, 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 dum. And that night he saw an angel. Dum, dum, dum. Yeah, this is the, this is the part that I knew about. Dum, dum, dum. The... And please bless mother and father. And please keep our bellies full of yum yums and luscious goodies. Ah! Oh my 
my gosh. I am Moroni. I, I told you the angel was called Moroni. God damn, Moroni. I am a Native American. A Native? What? Wha wha huh? Native American? But your skin is white. Yes, long ago all Native Americans were white. Mm. <laughs> we all came to America from Jerusalem, and while we were here, we were visited by Christ. Mm. There's no way this is part of the Mormon faith, right? There's no way this is part of the actual Mormon faith, that that's what they believe. It's not? Okay. It is? It's not? Dude, I'm getting conflicting, uh... A, a whole Mormon off in the chat right now. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Suddenly everyone in my chat is Mormon, um, and they all know, so. Jesus lived here in America? Yes. There's no, there's no way this is actually part of the Mormon faith. <laughs> there's no way. South Park is so on the nose, so often. Like, it's, it's terrifying. Eventually my people were all killed by the other tribe of Israel. And as punishment, God turned their skin red. What? These are the Native Americans you know today. Dum 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 dum. Oh my god, dude. There's no. No, don't listen to this. Listen, man. I I'm sorry if there are Mormons in the chat that are getting offended by this, but this is a parody, and I will be watching it. <laughs> listen, I, I need to get my sources from somewhere. What could be better than South <laughs> Park? Oh no. There is an ancient book buried near here, written on gold plates that account my people's. Yeah, it's the golden tablets that I was telling you about. Listen, I'm telling you. Lives. Also buried with the book are two seer stones, the Urim and Thummim, which will allow you to translate the writings. Find it and. I told you, there's the, st the tablets and the dictionary to translate it, and they both disappear. Fulfill your destiny. Oh my god, dude, there's no way. Wow. Dum 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 dum. Joseph Smith was called a prophet. Dum 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 dum. It's wild. So so basically, the angel sends him on a quest to find the One Piece, uh, and uh, that's wild. It's a twisted version of the events. Listen, I'm sure it's a twisted version of something because it's South Park, but they make fun of everybody, okay? And it's fair. I'm so sorry, but that's that's. <laughs> and we all know what happened then, don't we? Yeah, yeah I yeah. know. What happened then? Ooh, the Rice Krispie squares are done. He found the tablets. How do you not know? Rice Krispie squares. Oh, right. Right. Hey gang, let's wrap some more of them up in plastic wrap and hand them out to the poor. Oh yeah, I can't oh, wait. Yeah. You coming, Stan? No, I was supposed to be home at eight. Aw, oh, that's too bad. Well, it was really nice meeting you, Stan. Bye, Bye Stan. Stan. Great to meet you. Bye. Ah, uh, just give them some love and, and kindness. It's so interesting because uh, th there's been this long, um, long standing, I think, philosophical debate that like if a, a religion or a cult or something turns you into a better person that's having a better life, even if it's built on, let's say, a lie. Okay, I'm not saying it is. Okay, not, not poking the bear, but let's say it's built on a lie but it's really making people better nicer kinder people that are living happy lives is it really that wrong to manipulate now i would be more on the side of yeah that uh honesty should always be the best policy i i do think so but it's interesting it's an interesting philosophical question as to why the truth matters so much <laughs> dude and then he comes home to his own house and it's like wow these people are shit Hello? Oh, hi, Stan. Hey, Dad, how come you never told me about Joseph Smith? Who? <laughs> Shut up, turn, we're watching Friends! The guy who spoke to God and Jesus. Well, Stan, God and Jesus don't actually speak to people. That's not what the Harrisons <laughs> said. <laughs> well, who are the Harrisons? The new people that moved in down the street. Mr. Harrison said that Joseph Smith spoke to God and Jesus and they told him none of the religions were right. Mmm, sounds like every religion that, that, mmm. Oh, did he now? What are they, religious kooks? They're not kooks, they're cool. I mean, how can we never have a night where we don't watch any TV and we just do stuff together and eat and drink? We have that, Stan. It's called Friday Night Kegger. But that's just you and your friends. I said shut up, turd! Mr. Harrison said that I need to be following Heavenly Father's plan, and I don't even know what that is. All right, that does it. Yeah! Go. Yeah! I'm gonna go have a talk with this Mr. Harrison. <laughs> this, this Mr. Harrison giving good values and morals to my son? Damn! If he thinks he can fill my son's head with wacko religious crap, he's wrong. Randy, don't cause trouble. Let me handle this, Sharon. You gotta put these cult people in their place or else they never stop. I'm gonna go kick this Mr. Harrison. God damn! It is, Mr. Harrison is a white guy, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, very white, actually. So that'll be good. Yeah? Yeah, I'm gonna kick his ass. Yeah! Woo-hoo! Bro, I mean, 
to be fair, it was a good, it's a good call to check, honestly. Like, it's good to confirm that before, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to, you don't want to, you don't want to, you don't want to make this a race thing. <laughs> like, let's be real. Like, if you've been on the internet lately, if you're racist, they'll hate you. But if you're, like, anti-religious or, like, making fun of religious people, somehow the internet's cool with that. It's weird. I don't, I don't get the rules. It doesn't have to make sense to me, but that's just life. Goddamn religious kooks. Tell my son what to believe, will you? He's gonna come back religious. We'll see how you like my fist in your Hello! Yeah, are you Mr. Harrison? I sure am. The, the name's Gary. Well, look, my kid was just over at your house and he, uh... Oh, you're Stan's dad! It's so nice to finally meet you! Oh, God, he's too nice! He's too nice! He's gonna get him! He's gonna get him! Karen! Mr. Marsh is here! Uh, look, I just want to tell you that... Oh, Mr. Marsh, what a treat! It's so nice to meet you! I was thinking of winning you over with logic, but then I decided to win you over with kindness instead! Well... Thanks. Uh, Karen just finished baking. He even looks like Thorfinn. I have no enemies. The most amazing Rice Krispie squares. With chocolate frosting. Come on out of the cold. You gotta this is actual talk no jutsu. Like, bro, did Naruto gets his blonde hair from Mr. Harrison. Try one. Or six. <laughs> I cannot tell you how wonderful it is to have you over. I hear you're a geologist. That is so amazing. Look, uh, I actually came over because I'm a little concerned about some of the things you told my son. Uh huh. You know, about God and stuff. Oh, oh boy, you think we were trying to convert him? Well, I. Oh no, we were only showing him the right path, and if he doesn't follow this path, he will burn in fire. But listen, we weren't trying to get him to do anything or anything. Oh, uh, Mr. Marsh, I am so sorry. We just moved here from Utah, and we're so used to everyone being Mormon that we. Oh, we forget not everyone wants to hear about it. Oh, boy. Yeah, I, I think we keep forgetting that we had to hide his other wives in the basement for <laughs> because it's apparently weird here. You must be furious. Well, no, no, I just... You just heard your son talking about religious ideals that aren't your own, and you said, who the heck do these people think they are? I, I'm really, truly sorry, Mr. Marsh. It won't happen again. You can call me Randy. Randy, the last thing we want is for people to think we're pushing our religion. We know there are a lot of beliefs out there, and ours just works for us. To each his own, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, to be honest, I've never known any Mormons. I don't even know what you people believe. Who was this Joseph Smith guy? Why did he believe that Native Americans were actually white people from Jerusalem? <laughs> that is a good question, Randy. God damn. More logical words have never been uttered from your lips. Oh, God. All right, we're going deep down this rabbit hole, aren't we? Well, because he found ancient books they had written on gold plates. Right where the angel Moroni said they would be. Oh, God. I found them! I found them! You're not going to believe it, everybody! I oh, they... Some of them do believe it, though. I found them! Found what? I found the ancient golden tablets in an ancient language that I couldn't translate. And then I also found a dictionary to translate the golden tablets. And then once I've translated all of that and wrote it down, the angel came and took away both the dictionary and the golden tablets. So, so that's why I can't show it to you. But, uh, but it happened. Another New Testament of Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's not what it's called, right? Right? It, it, it's not called the New New Testament, right? What? 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 Last night, a Native American angel told me where I oh. could find another testament of Jesus Christ. No. So I went out to the woods. I dug around all morning where the angel had told me to look. Hmm, maybe there isn't anything out here. Wait a tick. What's this? Wow. Inside the stone box, I found the magical seer stones. Under that, I found four gold plates written in strange writing. Damn, <laughs> that's strange. I can't translate it. A uh, son and, uh, and someone giving me the finger. Who knows what this could mean? This must be the gospel that Jesus told the Nephites. Well, they were the most amazing things I had ever gazed upon. Wolf, so where are they? Where are what? The gold plates and... Oh, the angel took them back. Seer stones, where are they? Oh. Oh, well, I was not allowed to take them. You see, after I found the plates, the angel Moroni appeared to me again and said that I am not allowed to show the plates or the seer stones to anybody because first I must translate what's written on the mm -hmm. plates into English so you can all read it. Dum 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 dum. dum. <laughs> Stop that. That dum 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 chorus is killing me. I can't. Wow. amazing. He found the stones and golden plates. Dum 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 dum. 
Even though nobody oh, else God, ever saw dude. them. Dum, 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 dum. Yikes. Yikes. I'm just... <laughs> Bro, I, I love how they go out of their way for like um for the Scientology thing. They really turn Scientology into like a really vicious, greedy, disgusting cult, right? That's just purely abusing people for money. But for Mormonism, they go a completely different route in South Park. They're like, listen, these aren't like vindictive people or anything. It's just we don't exactly understand it, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. They're just like, listen, they're not evil. This just isn't the most in-depth religion we've ever heard of. So, how'd it go, Clubber Lang? You kicked Mr. Harrison's ass? Not exactly. We're, uh, having their family over for dinner tomorrow night. Oh, God. Uh, See, that's what happened to me! Sharon, did you know this guy Joseph Smith found a New Testament to the Bible buried here in America? What are you talking about? Well, it's just that... The Harrisons are really nice people, and you should see how loving and together their family is. I I think there's something to that religion. That's what they made me think, too. All right, that does it. From now on, our family is Mormon. It was that easy. They got him hooked on the sauce. Hey, Stan, how was your date last night with the new kid? Shut up, dude. They're a nice family, and Gary is actually really smart and talented. Uh, you guys, I think Stan's in love. Yeah, did you make out with him, too? What's the big deal? Can I have other friends? You guys should give Gary a chance. Hey, Stan. Oh, here's Stan's little girlfriend now. Hey, guys. Stan, I remember you said last night that you'd lost your wallet, so I made you a new one. I carved a picture of John Elway into the leather on the front. Ah! Wow, you made this? Oh, look at them. Aren't they so cute together? Hey, what down. <laughs> Cartman is so insufferable, it's amazing. He's on their way over to the fire station to donate blood. You want to come along? <laughs> uh, I don't think so, Gary. I have to, uh... Oh, here comes my family now! Hey, hey guys. guys! Uh, what? Hey guys! <laughs> Look, we painted our faces! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lion! I'm an alien! Hey, just what the heck am I supposed to be? <laughs> <laughs> My god. You gonna come with us to the fire station, Stan? Uh, no, I've got a lot to do. Well, Gary, you wanna just hang out with your friend Stan? Oh, well, I'd like to, but... Oh man, I would miss you guys so much! Oh my god, no, stop. Stop doing this to them. No. We'd miss you too, Gary. Oh, we'll all see each other tonight when we go to Stan's house for dinner. Stan, play with your friends, Gary. Yeah, have a good time, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Just too wholesome. There's something so, like, unsettling about the wholesomeness. Their faces are painted. <laughs> wow. So what do you guys want to do? Uh, that's cool. We're going to leave you two lovebirds alone. The three of us have to go put in some volunteer work at the homeless shelter. Oh, cool. I'm going to do that tomorrow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh-oh. So, hey, I heard your dad came over last night, and he and my dad talked about Joseph Smith. That's great. Yeah, yeah. I have a question about that Joseph Smith guy. Sure. What happened after he found the golden plates buried in the ground? Well, he kept them hidden from everyone like he was told. And then he translated what uh -huh. was written on the plates into the Book of Mormon. But how did you know the language? Yeah, but how? Dum 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 dum. What's this <laughs> Dude, the chorus is killing me. Oh, Mr. Smith. Mr. Harris, can you keep a secret? Well, sure I can. I have, in my possession, an ancient book written on gold plates that tells of Jesus Christ's second coming. Here, in America. In America? Really? That sounds... I always thought it would be in Jerusalem. It's kind of... Dum 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 dum. It's... God damn it, the chorus every time. True. And I'm going to translate the plates and publish it into a book for the whole world to read. Now, I know you have a lot of money, Mr. Harris, and I'm just going to need a little bit to pay for the publishing costs. Mm, I don't know. How do you expect to translate it? With these. Rocks? They're not rocks. They're, They're seeing stones. Or seer stones, given to me by an angel. With them, God allows me to translate the plates into English. Let's go. Watch. You take this quill and paper and write down what I say. Sit here. I have the golden plates here in this hat. I need to have them somewhere dark so I can read the spiritual light. Okay, there's no way that part is actually part of Mormonism. Like, I'm, I'm trying my hardest here, okay? I'm literally trying my hardest, but like, holy crap. I it is? Why is everyone saying it is? Please! Please! Really? 
Now, when I put the seer stones into the hat, the ancient letters light up and change to English, which I can then read to you. So the seer stones are just put in a dark place with the tablets that just turn them into English so that he can read them off to him without even this guy that's writing it down. <laughs> Listen, I... Oh, God, dude. Wow. Oh, stop! Don't do that! Oh, I'm seeing the light. Oh, okay, write this down. And so, it was that Christ appeared before the Nephites. And that's how the Book of Mormon was written. Dum, 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 dum. Wow. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Listen. So, some, some stories need to be properly parodied with ruthlessness, with cruelty, with just evisceration. And some parodies just need to be parodied by just telling the stories. Dum, da, dum, 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 dum. Dum 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 dum. That's a whole goddamn chorus. More like he used a hat to block out the light so he could see better. After a while, he didn't need it. Yeah, listen, I I I am very interested in reading up on different religions. It's just a hobby of mine, and and I'm very curious about it. I have to say, Mormonism was definitely, I think, the the one that just stuck out to me as like very. I'm trying to be nice, okay? It's just, it was so hard to get through the lore. It was so hard. Very nice people, great values. But dude, the history is, I think, the wildest one I've ever seen. Dum -dum. One, two, three, four. Pay $1,000 property tax. Isn't this great, you guys? Our first family home evening. I want to watch TV. We're not watching TV. We're Mormons now, and we're having family home eating. Yeah! Did you know that that Joseph Smith guy read the Book of Mormon out of a hat? And? Your turn, Sharon. It's just that the Book of Mormon says a lot of strange stuff, like that Adam and Eve lived in Jackson County, Missouri. Yes? There is no way it says that. What? In the Book of Mormon, it says that Adam and Le Eve lived in Missouri? It does. What? Oh my god, bro! There are just so many random things like that that uh, it just- uh, that's crazy! Oh my god, it actually does. You didn't know? What do you mean you didn't know? But school taught me that the first man and woman lived in Africa. Well, you can't believe everything school tells you, Stan. Your turn, Sha- <laughs> the worst lesson in the universe. Kelly. Ooh, that must be the Harrisons! Dun, 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 dun. Hey, everybody. <laughs> wow, what a great house. You must be Mrs. Marsh. It's so nice to meet you. And you must be Stan's sister. Oh, I think your brother's the greatest. My brother is a stupid turd. Got hey, him. Stan. Hey, Gary. Well, come on in and sit down, everybody. You're here just in time. My son was having a little problem with our new religion. Dad. Oh, really? Well, that's just because he hasn't heard the best part about the Joseph Smith story. Oh, God. The one that proves he was for real. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, I love that, that well, part of the story. You remember Martin Harris, the rich man who wrote down what Joseph Smith read out of the hat? He was our grandfather. Yeah. See, after he was done, he took some of the pages of what would become the Book of Mormon home. Martin went home to his wife. Dum 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 dum. Okay. And showed her pages from the Book of Mormon. Dum 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 dum. And so Joseph Smith put his head into a hat and, and read to me what the golden plate said. I wrote it all down, and we're going to publish it into a book. Martin, how do you know he isn't just making stuff up oh, and God. pretending he's translating off golden plates? Lucy Harris, smart, 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 smart. Wait, this part... <laughs> no, no. Smart. Why would he make it up? Damn. Honestly, though, based, the end. Martin Harris, dum da dum All right, here. I'm gonna hide these pages. If Joseph Smith really is translating off of golden plates, then he'll be able to do it again. But if Joseph Smith is making it all up, then the new translations will be different from these. Holy shit, she's a genius! Okay, fine. I bet I'll have no problem. Lucy Harris, smart, smart, smart. Martin Harris, dumb. So Martin went on oh back to God. Smith, said the pages had gone away. Smith got mad and told Martin he needed to go pray. Dum, 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 dum. Bro, no, no, don't say that the angel took the bag. Don't say the angel took the bag. Look, I'm sorry about losing the pages we worked on, Joe, but I'm ready to write it all down again if you translate from the plates. I would love to, Martin, except I just had a vision, and the Lord said he is very angry with me for letting you take those pages. <gasps> he is? Dum, 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 dum. Yes, he is so mad that he will never let me translate from the plate of Lehi again. He said we must now translate from the plate of Nephi. 
So it will be the same basic story, but written a little differently. There is no way. There is no way this is the actual lore for the religion, right? There's no way that they, they swapped it. So he had an excuse to change it up a little bit because he read from a different plate. That's basically the same story, except it's just kind of slightly different because, because this is like an adaptation. He got the Crunchyroll adaptation. There's no way. Why is everyone saying this is true? <laughs> this explains the different story. Flawless logic. But why would they lie? Guy pulled a giga brain. Honestly, dude's a genius. Y'all hating. Man's a mad lad. Yo, this this is insane. Dude, this is this is how you make a parody, okay? This is how you make a parody. You you have something point out its own uh flaws or things that you could make fun of. Wow! If God got angry with you, then you must be telling the truth. Dum 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 dum. Alright, Martin, let's get to work. And that's how it happened. Well, that's undeniable proof. Literally undeniable proof. Holy shit, it's over. Call me convinced. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh my God. It literally didn't stop. I can't believe it. I can't, I, I'm telling you, I only knew the real Cliff Notes version, but they, they, the, the extended expanded edition is way wilder than I could have even imagined. Oh my God. Yeah. All right. Wait, Mormons actually know this story and they still believe Joseph Smith was a prophet? Well, sure. The story proves it, doesn't it? Yeah, because God got angry at him. No, it proves he did make it all up. Are you blind? Well, Stan, it's all a matter of faith. No, it's a matter of logic. If you're going to say things that have been proven wrong, like that the first man and woman lived in Missouri and that Native Americans came from Jerusalem, then you better have something to back it up. All you've got are a bunch of stories about some <coughs> ex-wipe who read plates nobody ever saw out of a hat and then couldn't do it again when the translations were hidden. Hey, Stan, don't denounce our religion. I don't <laughs> want to be Mormon, Dad. Me <laughs> neither. Hey, that's totally cool, guys. You can believe whatever you want. Yeah, it's great you have your own beliefs. Yeah. Dude, and they're still so wholesome. That's crazy. Yeah, right, for the Martians. Right. Oh, stop it. That's another thing. Why do you have to be so freaking nice all the time? It isn't normal. You just weasel people into your way of thinking by acting like the happiest family in the world and being so nice to everyone that you just blindside dumb people. Yeah, well, what do your three wives in the basement think about this? Well, like my dad. Yeah. Well, kids, who's up for a water balloon fight? Yeah. Because here's the, the gimmick. They are actually that nice. That's crazy. That's insane. The twist is they're not nice to try to get people to join their religion. They're just nice people. Yo, this is incredible. What a fantastic parody. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> they're just nice. Oh, hey, Stan. Where's your best buddy, Gary? I'm not hanging around that kid anymore. Oh no, you guys broke up? You guys were right, okay? The new kid's a d Now I just gotta find a way to keep him away from me. Hey, Stan. Oh, brother. Uh-oh, the jilted lover returns. Listen, I just wanted to let you know you don't have to worry about me trying to be your friend anymore. I don't? Look, maybe us Mormons do believe in crazy stories that make absolutely no sense. And maybe Joseph Smith uh -oh. did make it all up. Uh -oh. But I have a great life and a great family. That, that's what I was telling you. I knew that they would get down into this philosophical debate of whether it's true or not. Does it really matter if we're living such a beautiful, happy life and everything's nice and beautiful? That That's the debate. That is the, uh, the fantastical debate that I keep hearing brought up time and time again. And I have the Book of Mormon to thank for that. The truth is, I don't care if Joseph Smith made it all up because what the church teaches now is loving your family, being nice and helping people. And even though people in this town might think that's stupid, I still choose to believe in it. All I ever did was try to be your friend, Stan. But you're so high and mighty you couldn't look past my religion and just be my friend back. You got a lot of growing up to do, buddy. Suck my Damn! Damn! Damn, that kid is cool, huh? And <laughs> now he likes him. Dude, there we are. They're, they're not hurting anybody, you know? Listen, they're not scamming people. It's not like Scientology, okay? It's, but again, what a fantastic episode. Really covering the actual, the philo the philosophy of it, that philosophical back and forth and whether the true really matters as much as it does, right? Um, Again, I am on the side of, you gotta truth i suppose in this philosophical debate I i'd rather believe in something real than uh than believe in something fake that just makes me kind of a nice person and, and stuff like that but bro absolute absolute insane job here on this episode shit from the from the get-go covering the story doing it in like the parody fashion of just pointing out letting it point out its own flaws instead of needing to spell it out for you um also with the the massive ending with Dude, Gary actually taking the W at the end. Like, both sides of that, um, 
of that scale, on, of that philosoph philosophical scale, honestly, fantastic episode from start to finish. My God, dude, South Park's really something else. South Park's really something else. All right, what's next? If you made it to the end, click one of these two videos, which also will definitely get me canceled. See you live on Kink. Stay weird, fam.